Okay, so this says uh, the expression 5x plus 2 squared equals some polynomial with a, b, and c values. So we just need to figure out what a, b, and c equals. So I'm going to start by squaring this thing. I'll just do that by writing it twice. 5x plus 2 times 5x plus 2. I'm going to FOIL this thing. I'm going to multiply each term by, in the first parenthesis by each term in the second parenthesis. So I'm going to multiply the first, time, first term in this parenthesis by the first term in that one. 5x times 5x gives me the 25x squared. I'm going to multiply this term by this term. 5x times 2 is 10x. Now I'm going to multiply the 2 by each term. 2 by 5x is 10x. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have, when I combine like terms, 25x squared. 10x and 10x is 20x plus 4. So the a is just going to be the number in front of the x squared. The a here is going to be 25. The b here is going to be 20. And the c here is going to be 4. Okay. A second example, a little bit more complicated here, is we have a binomial being multiplied by a trinomial. It works the same way. I'm going to multiply the x by each term in the second parenthesis. So I get x times x squared is x cubed. x times 6x is 6x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Now the negative 7. Negative 7 times x squared is negative 7x squared. Negative 7 times 6x is negative 42x. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. Combine like terms, I get x cubed all by itself. 6x squared and negative 7x squared is going to combine to give me negative 1x squared. 2x and negative 42x is going to combine to give me negative 40x minus 14. So now I'm just going to write each coefficient out in these boxes. The coefficient a is the number in front of the x cubed, which is just going to be 1, because it's not written. The number in front of the x squared term is going to be negative 1, because of the minus. The number in front of the x is negative 40, and the number by itself is negative 14. And that's going to be your answer.